Hey there, webheads. Welcome back to the channel, where we dive headfirst into the world of superheroes, supervillains, and super puns. Today, we have a web-slinging treat for you all. We're talking about the mind-bending, dimension-hopping spectacular that is Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Grab your spidey senses and buckle up because we're about to take a trip down the multiversal rabbit hole. In this video, we're breaking down all the details, but before we unleash the spoiler-filled web of excitement, a word of warning, folks. This video contains more spoilers than J. Jonah Jameson has rants about Spider-Man. So if you haven't swung your way into the theaters and experienced the mind-blowing awesomeness of Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, abort mission, and come back when you're ready to join us in full Spidey spoiler mode. We'll be swinging through Gwen's universe, getting tangled up with the spot, and witnessing the heart-wrenching backstory that brought our favorite Spider-Woman into the cross-dimensional Spider Society. But that's not all, folks. We'll join forces with Spider-Punk, Spider-Woman, and even meet the crankiest Spidey of them all, Spider-Man 2099. We'll unravel the web of consequences caused by Miles' radioactive spider bite, leading to a dimension with no friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So stick around until the end because we're tackling burning questions like, what does Beyond the Spider-Verse really mean? And whether we'll get any Marvel Cinematic Universe surprises along the way. All right, my fellow Spidey fans, let's dive into this web-slinging adventure. Spider-Man. You me? The movie kicks off with a lengthy opening sequence set in Gwen's universe, Earth-65. We delve into Gwen's tragic backstory, witnessing the heartbreaking demise of her universe's Peter Parker, which eventually led her to become a part of the cross-dimensional Spider Society. It's a real tearjerker, folks. Bring tissues. After the emotional roller coaster, we catch up with Miles, who's been hanging out in his home dimension for the past year, missing all the web-slinging shenanigans. Enter the spot, a new villain sporting dimensional portals on his body. Miles takes him on, but lo and behold, Gwen shows up in the nick of time. She's hot on the spot's trail, but takes a detour to catch up with Miles. Talk about multitasking. Gwen drops the bomb on Miles that he's not allowed to be part of the Spider Society. Ouch. However, she leads him on a portal-hopping adventure to a dimension known as Mumbatton. And no, that's not a misspelling of Manhattan. Mumbatton is a mashup of Mumbai and Manhattan, creating an extremely awesome mega city. Seriously, why don't we have those in real life? Miles joins forces with Gwen, Spider-Woman Jessica Drew, Spider-Punk, and Spider-Man Pavater Prabhakar to battle the spot in Mumbatan. It's a thrilling showdown, resulting in a sort of stalemate. The spot gets what he wants, but our spider people managed to save the day. Well, almost. You see, they may have accidentally saved too many people. Oops, more on that later. Now that Miles is part of the gang, they whisk him away to Spider Society HQ in Nova York 2099. There we meet the head honcho himself, Spider-Man 2099, Miguel O'Hara. He's not the friendliest Spidey around, but hey, we all have our grumpy moments. Miguel spills the beans on Miles being the catalyst for multiversal chaos because of that pesky radioactive spider bite from Earth-42. Can't catch a break, can he? Miguel explains that the spider's home dimension, Earth-42, is missing a crucial element, Spider-Man himself. If it weren't for Miles being bitten, Earth-42's Peter Parker would have lived and defeated Kingpin in the first movie. So essentially, all this spider madness is Miles' fault. Sorry, Miles, but you're to blame for unleashing a multiverse-wide Spidey frenzy. To prevent further chaos, Miguel wants to lock Miles up until his dad, a police lieutenant about to be promoted to captain, meets his tragic demise. Sounds harsh, right? Miles isn't having any of it and tries to make a quick escape. Cue an exhilarating chase sequence through the Spider Society building. But instead of sending Miles back to his home dimension, the go-home machine drops him into Earth-42. Surprise! This reality is missing its friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Just when Miles thinks he's in for a heartwarming reunion with his late Uncle Aaron, things take a sinister turn. In this dimension, Miles is the prowler. And let's just say he's not radiating the warm and fuzzy vibes. Gwen, being the hero she is, decides to take matters into her own hands and assembles a team of spiders to invade Earth-42 and save Miles. Spider-Ham even makes a grand entrance after being M.I.A. until this point. Can't have a Spider-Verse adventure without some porky superhero action. Now don't expect a post credit scene to tease you with more Spider-Goodies. Once the credits start rolling, that's it. But fear not, the title card Miles Morales will return in Spider-Man. Beyond the Spider-Verse pops up, giving us hope for more web-slinging adventures. 
so hold it in or hit the bathroom during the credits if you must, without the fear of missing any additional content. You might be wondering what Beyond the Spider-Verse means. Don't worry, it's not a metaphorical journey outside the realm of our favorite arachnid-themed multiverse. It actually refers to Earth-42, the dimension without a spider being. That's right, Earth-42 is literally beyond the Spider-Verse. Clever, right? No comic book spoilers here, folks. Now, before you get too excited about potential Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU, crossovers, let me clarify. Across the Spider-Verse nods to the MCU twice. First, Miguel briefly mentions the events of Spider-Man, No Way Home, giving us a little wink. And second, we get to see Donald Glover's version of Uncle Aaron, all suited up as the Prowler. A blast from the past, indeed. But don't expect the MCU to gatecrash this animated party. Sony likes to keep a tight grip on its Marvel properties, so major crossovers are unlikely. However, we can still hope for some delightful cameos and Easter eggs, just like Donald Glover's appearance in this film. A sprinkle of MCU magic won't hurt. So there you have it, folks. Spider-Man. Across the Spider-Verse takes us on a wild ride through dimensions, tragedy, and unexpected twists. Thanks for swinging by, folks. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your fellow Spidey fans. Stay tuned for more superhero shenanigans. And until next time, keep slinging those thumbs up.